Hello everyone, Javi here. This is a tutorial for Puny Character Animations. First off, I have a new file called Animation Preview. Uh, make sure you have Tiled installed. And let's go ahead and open up these Tiled files. Open with Tiled. And over here you can see all of the possible animations you could make with puny characters. Over here are placeholders. We can replace them using our game file. So going back here, we open up game players or we could also up open up Photoshop players. Since I don't have Photoshop, we'll be using our game players again. So over here, we can go ahead and uh, make a character, maybe a red mage. And there you go. You can export this as character placeholder one and when you go back to tiled you can see that it replaces the um, placeholder I use this to check if there are any errors in making the sprite sheet so I can see there's none for now We can go ahead and um, make another character. Let's choose, um, let's make a simple thief. Hairstyle, gloves. Lime tunic. So we can export this as placeholder 2. And over here, you can see that it, it changed placeholder 2. So I've added a new layer for GIMP and Photoshop layers. Here we have guides and under it there's animation guides. So over here, you can see it's been separated by colors. So green is for idle, blue for walk, red for sword attack animation, and etc. And I've also added numbers. These represent the orders in frame. So for example, for idle, we have this one first, then this one second. We can choose these then um, the frame duration should be 200 and then hit apply hit X go back here go to um, tile sets click on character placeholder 2 and place them anywhere on characters so here we can see we have successfully animated a sprite sheet, an idle character, I mean. So here, you can see that for walk, this one, this sprite sheet, this sprite frame comes first. This is to avoid uh, making errors in walking animations. It's the same for the carry animation. This one goes first before it goes to the two-legged animation. So let's try following this um, guide. So first off, we animate we animate this one. You could go for one, um, 200 or 100 ms. So this comes first, this comes second, this comes third. 
one, two, three, and then it goes back here. There you go. See? As simple as that. Let's go try something else. Let's try sword first. You can click anywhere to animate and it's, it would still be animated where you started the animation. So for example, if I animated here, I could place this whole thing here. And choose this one. It will only show which animation is being animated. <laughs> Okay, so where we did we left off? For staff, we have a duplicate layer. We're going to use this frame twice in order to um, match with the sword animation. So for the staff, we use this tree. As you can see, it's moving too fast. We need a, um, a place, um, a frame where it kind of stops. So we're going to use a double, double frame for this one. See, it matches with the sword animation. And there are others, I guess, for take damage. Let's try this one out. Um, it's this one, right? There you go. And one of the most confusing animations here is the death animation. It goes back and forth, I guess, and then it stops at 2. So let's try making a full hurt animation, then going to death animation. So here, we get hurt first, like that. And then we slowly transition to death. Then it ends here. Is that correct? One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, and then four. Then we can just set this to 800 maybe. So now, you can see it bounces back off before it goes to death animation. Wait, let's fix that. No. Um, fine. There you go. It bounces back right up before it goes to death mode and that should be like that you can also improvise and make a lot of other animations such as a victory animation or a sleep animation um, for the carry animation I'm gonna show you for the carry animation it's actually used for, um, wait, let's make a new layer, box. I get that a lot of people are confused with uh, using, using carry animation. I don't really use it myself as well. Could just make a simple box here. As if it he's carrying something. And 
there you go. Let's try animating this one. Wait. Let's check the guides. This one first, then this one second, third, fourth. So this one comes first, second, third, and then fourth. Wait. First, second, third, fourth. There you go. And yep, it's for carrying stuff. And for the victory dance or for the victory pose, I don't, it doesn't matter what you call it. Um, I used this ones, then a small jump. So for example, I'm going to set this to um, 50 ms maybe. You could place them all there. And then, oh, let's use all of this first. And then it gets ready to jump on that frame because we want it to face front first. Let's take this for export. Then it gets ready to jump. Then it lands back here. And then let's make this 300. The, sh the jump should be at. Oh, wait. All of this should be at 100. And the jump should be um maybe 200, 200 ms. Hit apply, and then we can use that animation here. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. Um, thank you for supporting the asset pack, and I hope to see you again. Bye.